Hello everyone, welcome back to the internet's best reactions. Today we talk about the Malaysian Grand Prix, which was a pretty decent race, but your reactions were better. So let's kick things off straight away with Into the Barrier, who is the Formula One game YouTuber. He said the only thing Ferrari seem able to turbocharge this weekend is Hamilton's title hopes. Well, I think I'm about to... Who, who can relate though? Who can relate? Damon Hill coming in with the Ferrari slamming. It's like a red carpet has been laid out. Is that a pun because it's Ferrari? I don't know. Has been laid out for Lewis Hamilton to title number four. And he even goes and tags at Scuderia Ferrari. Just, just like poking away. Esteban Ocon, he had a very adventurous race this time round. And uh, going into turn one, he was going around the outside and to be fair, he gave enough room for Carlos Sainz, but Sainz clipped him. He spun round at IGP manager. Ocon is such a nice guy. The team is actually asking him to complain. And that's when he went over the radio and the team were like, did he hit you? And he was like, oh yeah, obviously. Did you see the replays? But he was like, no, you, you have to tell us. It's like, why does, why does he have to complain when there's a replay on the screen of Sainz punting him off the track? Another fascinating duel was Fernando Alonso and Kevin Magnussen. But yeah, I think he's quite aggressive. You know, we've had drivers in the past complaining about him. And Renault Sport F1 said, we heard Fernando mention the Hulk. And this is when he came over the radio and said that uh, Hulkenberg was right about uh, Magnussen being a bit of a Larry um, plonker. <laughs> And go, so he said, we heard Fernando mention the Hulk and got all worried, but this may have been a balls related issue instead. And then there was also another tweet from Matt Moto Matt. Uh, hashtag Magnussen wanted to go tough on hashtag Alonso. Fernando responded, listen here, noob. It's quite funny actually, because you've got the, the guy that's got not many medals and you've got the guy with loads of medals. You kind of get the joke. People seem to love the suck my balls joke anyway. Uh, Chris, or at underscore Chris UK, Magnuson to Alonso after the race, and then it's suck my balls from South Park. I'm not going to try the uh, accent. Are you going to? Yeah, okay. Is it common? Yeah. Suck my balls! Oh, that's actually really quite good. Would it be an internet's best reactions without at LEGP involved? Alistair's shaking his head. In which case, we're going to drop a tweet from him. Few people are talking about Kvyat's mistake free race though. What is Daniel doing at the moment? I saw on his Instagram, it says that he is just a human. It's his bio. I'm not sure if that was before or after he got essentially sacked uh, or put on the bench. He's having a rest. Speaking of Kvyat, uh, at WTF1 official, which you, if you didn't know, is our Twitter account. Uh, Kvyat was the good luck charm Max needed. And why, why, why you ask? Every time Daniel Kvyat gets replaced, Max Verstappen wins the race. <laughs> So speaking of Max Verstappen winning the race, at Niles Godron, definitely, probably, most definitely mispronounced that, uh, the Dutch Ziggo sport team, right after Max is, takes the win, and <laughs> they've literally jumped to the extent that one of them has gone, put their head through the ceiling. So after the race, we thought everything was said and done. We were all sitting back, it's about half nine if you're English. And you're just sitting there, like, oh, just that was a great race. And then you look at the screen, and Vettel's got three wheels, and one wheel, one of his rear tyres is just like on the top of his car. And it was like, what is going on there? And actually, at the time that was shown, <laughs> it came up at the bottom, driver of the day, Sebastian Vettel, and you just have him sat there with three wheels on the car. And thank you to George Ortner, or at 6E660, for that tweet. And <laughs> it was pretty crazy, wasn't it? I don't know what you guys think. I think that's the controversial moment of the race. So I want you guys to let us know in the comments, who was at fault? Was it Stroll? Was he a little bit oh, just kind of moving over to the side? Was it Vettel for just getting too close and kind of it almost taking, not racing speed, but he was going a lot quicker than all the other cars or was it just well it's not a racing incident because it, we weren't racing was it just an incident that no one can be put to blame for so after Vettel got punted into and had three wheels he obviously couldn't drive back to the pit lane uh, and Matzel 89 that's the most TV time Sauber has got this year that's very true actually <laughs> I'm surprised Pascal Vettel even if he had put his foot to the floor they have similar straight line speeds to McLaren so I think Vettel would have hung on just fine and now it's time for race Rundown with your host, Matthew Gallagher. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Race Rundown. And this is my favorite part of the show because you're about to see a lot of faces fly up on the screen. Thank you very much, Alistair. The race results are as follows. Verstappen, Hamilton, Ricardo, Vettel, Bottas, Perez, Van Dorn, Stroll, Massa, Ocon, Alonso, Magnussen, Grosjean, Gasly, Palmer, Hulkenberg, Verlein, Ericsson. And the DNFs, Simon Raikkonen. 
So points of the race for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Obviously the start, Hamilton got away fine. He was in first place. Uh, Verstappen and Ricardo came under pressure from Bottas. Bottas sweeping right round the outside, smashing Ricardo. He had absolutely no place to go because he was sat behind Verstappen on the inside line, which meant Bottas went right round the outside, almost got Verstappen, but he didn't because Max got his elbows out and uh, he sat in P2. Then a few laps later, Max was closing in, closing in. Lewis was complaining of derating of his engine, meaning he couldn't get to that top speed that Mercedes usually have on the straight line. I think it's because they're charging up or something. Either way, Max down the straight, kind of uh, towards turn one, he just took the inside line. Like, Lewis didn't put up as much of a fight as he probably would have had it been the last race of the season and Max was perhaps Vettel. It was fascinating to see Vettel come through the field. He was up to about 11th after only a few laps and he got his way all the way up to fourth towards the end of the race. Was right behind Ricardo, battling him, almost getting him into turn one, I think it was. And Ricardo went really, really defensive, which was great from him. And, uh, and then Alonso got involved for absolutely no reason. He was getting lapped, let Ricardo through, and then just sat in between them. And Vettel was fuming. And oh my days, I don't know if you guys saw the Alonso post-race interview, but one of the interviews that he was having, they were like, so what do you say about you know, Vettel complaining about you not letting him through? And he was like, oh, blue flag, blue flag. Excellent. So, Kimmy's quote on my quote. That's uh, it's your quote, actually. I think it's ours. Ricardo P3, 22 and a half seconds off his teammate in the end. It just wasn't as quick as Max, to be honest. He's, he joked about giving him half a tenth in qualifying, and he gave him more than that during the race. Bottas. Valtteri Bottas. 56 seconds off the lead and 44 seconds off Hamilton. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but there's bad weekends and then there's bad weekends. And he said in, in the interview, he was just a little bit, again, mystified as to why he's not on the pace. And he's just saying that he's had issues and he really needs to pick up his game. He's got, he's got this new contract and he's a bit like Riken. He's now just sitting back in his chair. He's like, oh, got another Mercedes seat for another year. But right now he was the, I mean, 56 seconds off a cruising Max Verstappen. Issues. Yeah, Perez in sixth place. He had a, he wasn't feeling very well actually, so it's a pretty decent result for him. Stoffel van Dorn, you have to say. Great drive for him for P7. Completely outpaced and just destroyed Alonso, who finished in 11th. And you got Lance Stroll, who, who started like 16th or something. He started very far down, maybe 15th or something. And Stroll finished ahead of his teammate after getting his elbows out as well, which was great to see although he had that incident with Vettel, which was very, very strange. Massa in ninth and Ocon with the most adventurous race ever in P10. And before we go, we have one final announcement. Whoever is being edited very slowly. Keep the suspense, Alistair. Oh, yep, keep the suspense. Oh, I went a bit quicker then. <laughs> Whoever is edited right here has won the final copy of F1 2017. But do not fear, we will get other competition prizes and we'll make sure that you guys get some lovely goodies from this Internet Reacts. So that has been the Internet's best reactions for the Malaysian Grand Prix. If you want to get involved, use the hashtag WTF1 or tag us at WTF1 Official on Twitter. It's the easiest way to get involved. And if you want to watch another video, click just here. If you want to subscribe, Click just here. And if you want to visit our WTF1 shop where we've got phone cases and stuff as well now, click just here. I'm Matt with WTF1 and we'll see you in seven days time. Goodbye.